So anyway, I promised them that I would send the pictures back to them, and I will. I don't know how I'll get there. I said, how the heck am I going to get these to you? And the guy says, send them to Donnie Barra's pub in Glengariff County. So I don't know what to do. By Garnish Island, Garnish Island, I could put that in there too and see if it comes back to me, it comes back. I'll give it a try anyway. So anyway, trivia. Maureen O'Hara lives here on Garnish Island. And we just got to the island by ferry boat. Well, Marina does not, Maureen does not come in by ferry boat. She has the plane, and the plane lands in the bay in front of where her house is, and somebody runs out with a tender, and she gets on with her luggage and whatever, and she rides over to her house. And we could see, I think there was four chimneys with, uh, for the fireplaces, and it was uh, uh, white, and uh, but there was too many trees around. We couldn't see too much. Uh, so uh, the ferry boat that we took was not for cars. It was just a small one for people. So anyway, we went across the uh, Bantry Bay, and there we visited the amazing gardens of Ilnakulin, I-L-N-A-C-U-L-L-I-N, Ilnakulin, and then and it was built. This man, I don't know how it come about, but anyway, this was a little island there, not too little, and it was had no trees, and it just had big rock formations all over, and he saw it, and he thought, oh, I can do something with that. And this was built on these giant rock formations. He did it in the 1800s. And now there was nothing there. Now it's got trees and bushes and blooming flowers everywhere. The colors just dazzle the eye. And uh, he just has all these, he just did wonders. I don't know. He must have been a billionaire because it had to cost a lot to bring over all that dirt to make these mounds and this and that, you know. So anyway, when we were there, it was misty rain and cool and the water drops sparkled on the leaves. It was like diamonds. It was so beautiful. You know, so far, Ireland is just what I expected to be in my mind, exactly like it. And I love it, except for when we get the cold rain. <laughs> Not much for cold rain. <laughs> so now we are at the Glenna Guest House. It's on Muck Ross Road in the town of Cary, in Killarney County, and we look out at a, a Japanese garden from our room. Uh, apparently the owner had that done or did it himself, and it's lovely. And Kim and Tina are across the hall, and when they look out, they see horses, <laughs> which is nice. I'd like to see the horses too. I don't know if there's the horses that go with those little carts that go clop, clop, clop down the street, or, um, well, what else could they be? They're certainly not race horses. <laughs> but I saw one out there, and she was eating her oats in the bag. And then our, our, uh, the owner, uh, Timothy, he came and got us into our rooms. He carried our luggage up to our rooms, and then he made us dinner. And, oh, my. Our dinner from the brie cheese salad and the fresh mushroom soup that you could die for. It was wonderful. And the sauces on the chicken and the Irish whiskey sauce on the trifle cake. Oh my God, it was a gourmet meal. And it was made by the owner, chef. He's not a cook. He's a chef. Oh, it was the best ever. And we were lucky to get two dinners by him. Now, we had other nice meals at other places. Don't get me wrong. But this was a chef's dinner. This was wonderful. I mean, they know how to use the herbs and spices. It's, it was wonderful. 